It is the 1st of December, you guys, and today is my first official Vlogmas day one. I decided to do Vlogmas homeschool style because we switch it up in December because of the holidays. Um, I am trying to, you guys know that I have a very relaxed um, homeschool and really the only change is that I am going to try to add a little bit more structure so that I can free up some time for some more um, holiday excitement, I guess. And today we have a special guest. Um, Tia is here and she is very very into music she plays the guitar um, she and she teaches the kids um, music uh, so normally we try to fit it in when we can we don't do music every day other than just simply listening to different music um, all the time so but we don't do a formal music education type thing but whenever she comes around or whenever we go there um, they always throw in a dose of music appreciation which is so very cool so um, they're going to enjoy time with their Tia doing music appreciation and I am going to get to get a little bit of planning done and refill our work boxes so today for this homeschool vlogmas day one the first of December I am going to I guess walk through how I refill their um their uh, work boxes so yeah right now they're listening to the music that she's added to a playlist for them and she's trying to ask them questions to see if they can identify some of the instruments that were used inside of the music so so cool so I figured I'd grab a couple of books that I knew I had um, from the library and ones that belong to us. This one is Mr. and Lady Day. It is about Billie Holiday. And guys, this, oh, these illustrations are exceptional. They are actually illustrated by my cousin, Vanessa Brantley Newton. And oh my gosh, like these illustrations are everything. The story is really cute and um, it is about Billie Holiday and the dog who loved her. And oh, can you see this? Oh my gosh, every page is like gorgeous. And I'm obsessed with her and her work. And I actually have some exciting things that um, we are doing together. So um, love, love, love her. But look at that. Like absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you another page just in case you wanted to see it. <laughs> This is what you're gonna get out of Vlogmas from me. Um, I'm just trying to do a better job at um, not overthinking things and just having a little bit more fun with things. And so that's kind of where Vlogmas is coming from. I'm actually doing Vlogmas on both of my channels. But the cool part is that I'm just vlogging throughout the day and I'm just going to um, take out the homeschool portion of our day and just put it on this channel. So um, if you're watching my regular vlog, um, I'm just going to put a little, I guess, a, not a command, but like, what's that called? Like a card that lets you know that if you wanted to see inside of the homeschool portion of the day, yeah, even though homeschool is really life and it happens all day long, I'm trying to discipline myself to get the bulk of our quote unquote homeschool done during a specific time in the day to free up time for like more holiday fun. So anyway, look at that. Amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna grab this book and give it to her. I also had another book. I think I put it in the work box already. This one, I did grab from the library. I would already stuffed it in the work box, but um, this is their art and music work box. And this one is called Dizzy and it's about Dizzy Gillespie. So yeah, I haven't read this one yet, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna grab these two books for her. So while she takes over homeschool for me today, I will actually get to get some much needed um, planning slash, you know, refilling work, book box, work boxes and everything. So oh, let me breathe. Um, so super blessed that she decided to come down and visit and hang out with the kids. She bought her guitar, so she's probably going to play for them as well. And yeah, so far I'm liking Vlogmas. Homeschool Vlogmas day one. <laughs> Thumbs up if you want to see the rest, um, all 25 days of Vlogmas. That'll give me like some 
a push and a little extra encouragement to go ahead and make sure I make it happen each day. Yeah, so I rolled my work boxes out here into the living room and this is Cameron's set of work boxes, this is Kendall's set of work boxes and this is Savannah's set of work boxes and then I have my curriculum and the library books that I got for um, the next week or so is here and my planner binder is here planner here and so that I can figure out what I'm doing um, I decided to start using the work boxes a little bit more heavily uh, since that I'm trying to bring a little bit more structure I want them to be able to follow the instructions on their own so I decided to draw up a few assignment cards for them so I just opened up my app my pages app here and I just uh, threw together like an assignment card just letting them know that they're going to follow the instructions when they complete the assignment they are going to check the boxes on the side the hope is that every night I will fill out their assignment cards and include them inside of their work boxes um, that are obviously organized by subject and then they will be able to go to that subject's um, work box open it up take a look at their assignment card finish the assignment check it off and move on to the next work box so I am thinking that that's really gonna help with the structure and the flow um, of our day our relaxed structured relaxed homeschool day <laughs> I'm gonna print these out and cut them laminate them so that I can include them inside with um, their work so in their work boxes so I love these work box systems they're actually um, like scrapbook boxes that I got from Michaels and use like the 40% off coupon um, save those up and use them one at a time so that I could get these and they work really well because I can fit lots of stuff in here I can fit lots of things in here uh, whatever they need to finish the assignment that is on their assignment cards. So they're working on their music notes and their rhythm and Cameron's actually got it. So we're gonna listen. I'm like that homeschool mom that gets wild and crazy when they <laughs> when they actually learn something. Oh, it makes me so happy. He's got it. I feel that deep. Kendall's got it too. And Kendall's ready to go next. So my honey is home. He's hanging out with his sister for a little bit and we are basically done with um, Music and homeschool for the day. So the kids are relaxing <laughs> This guy is watching a little bit of TV. Um, I am actually still working on um, Filling up our work boxes. So I am cutting out our assignment cards that I printed out and I have not quite gotten to refilling our work boxes yet so I am still gonna have to get that done tonight I'll probably be working on that through tomorrow morning so maybe I can show you guys what it's like tomorrow on day two of our homeschool vlogmas <laughs> and then if I have a little bit of time I'll just do a little bit neater of a video of um, you just uh, explaining our work boxes and how we use them and then overall, I just wanted to keep doing updated videos every time I refill our work boxes for a new unit. 
um, I thought that would be nice to document and then you guys could see what um, I end up putting in our work boxes anyway hopefully it works out really well we've always used the work boxes but I've never used it as not a standalone but um, I just want them to take um, even more ownership over their homeschool day so I think that having them start from the top um, the first subject of their day and going all the way to the bottom um, then they can take a little bit more ownership over um, individually how they're getting their work done so hopefully it works out um, I feel like homeschool is really just about changing and adjusting um, until you find things that fit for whatever season you're in so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog for today's day one of a vlogmas homeschool style and we will see you guys I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching.